a shalom 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 first and foremost i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharuka kodash yahweh is the true name of the most high god yahweh shai is the true name of his only begotten son ruka kodash is the holy spirit that permits us to get the understanding of this truth I double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do a quick response to what's going on lately you know the, the the latest is um the sikari you know teaching a false doctrine that we are not going to inherit um everlasting life that after a thousand years we're going to die in which this is a false doctrine and this is not the first time the sikari is going to come out and spew out you know um some crazy doctrines like that you know so this is this is more like um this is more like um a test and a revelation for those who are part of the Sikari. The Most High is actually opening. The Most High is opening the eyes of many to see what's going on, to understand where the where on uh, the camp with the truth, you know. So these people have been spewing out all different madness, you know, saying all sorts of you know things that doesn't even make any sense from the scriptures, not breaking down the scriptures perfectly. So the Most High is showing you that hey, these people don't have the truth, man. You should you should leave those camps now. You should this you did you know door mercy is still open for you to leave, you know. So saying this doesn't mean that they are not going to be members of the elect from the same camp. We believe in Great Millstone that they are going to be members of the elect, even in um IU, 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 IUIC, you know, because we're not the ones, you know, um making this decision. It's the it's the father Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So anyway, you all need to be, you know, careful about the doctrines that are brought to you, you know. So now I want to start off by reading from the book of John 3.16. And this was not even part of my plans, you know. I just clicked. I just clicked it and it's just right there. Which quotes, you know. For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. Everlasting life. And everlasting life means imm immortality. You know, we live forever. You know, this is actually why we're doing all the work we want to be doing. You know, apart from the fact that the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai kept the spirit on us to do these things, you know. But we are hoping for this everlasting life. We are hoping to get out of this body because this body is, is, a, is a prison, you know, regarding to the book of Jude. This body is a prison. It captures us, you know. We, we are not up to our full potentials. But when Yahweh Shai comes back, we are all going to be translated into the, the chariots, speaking about the elect, you know. And hopefully we're going to be part of that number. And once we get translated into those chariots, our bodies are going to be changed immediately, you know. We're going to be given to special bodies that are not going to suffer, bodies that can't, you know, that are not going to feel sickness, you know, that perfect body, man. And we're going to live forever with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. So you should all be aware of these false um, teachers and false prophets, you know, coming and spreading out all different kinds of doctrine, you know. They always want to, they always want to, you know, teach what they're not, um, teach what's too high for them to teach just like the apostle elder apostle gaba says you know they always want to have a step further to show that they know the scriptures no this is not a competition you know this truth is given to certain men and these men have been teaching other people you know speaking about the elders and apostles of great millstone really they have the 100 percent truth now this is the first book of timothy And read chapter 4 because you all have to be careful what's going on this is the first book of timothy chapter 4 verse 1 it says now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times 
some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their consciousness seared with a hot iron. You know, and this been going on within different groups, and the monster is actually opening eyes of many to see now. You know, these people, many of them, you know, they've given they've given heed to seducing spirits because there is a heavy spirit of seduction going all around. You know, lately, you know, seducing people of the truth. You know, we had camps that that came up. You know, under the one West teaching Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, and all of a sudden, you know, the seducing spirit. You know come take the truth off them and they start teaching jesus again you know going back to their vomit we have camps that are teaching you know doctrines of men doctrines that are not part of the bible you know things that they just think or feel it's going to be like that you know in which we need to be as perfect as our lord yahweh shai was you know perfect in this truth having the hundred percent truth there's there is a hundred percent truth you know, there is a hundred percent truth, and there is a truth mixed with doctrines of men, and that's what these other camps they have. You know, this is the book of Second Peter, chapter two, verse one. It says, "But there were false prophets amongst, also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai that brought them." and bring upon themselves swift destruction and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of so it's all we have all the hints given here you know you have huge groups like iuic isupk you know all these groups they're spewing out madness man they are far away from the truth you know you have the gocc you have um the HOI, you know, every week they always come out with a, a doctrine that is just off, off. I don't even have the right words, man. Going off, and whenever they try, they, they, um, we try to co uh, correct them because this is part of what it is, you know. Um, this this truth is for is for is for correction, you know, for reproof. If a brother, if you see a brother, you know, going the wrong way, you just call him and you reprove him and you and you and you get him corrected you know they always speak evil about great millstone great millstone is always getting on everybody yes this is part of what we have to do because these doctrines are going to go out there now and those who are feeble-minded it's going to become like a stumbling block you know can we are promised eternal life from the most high yah about shami al shai when yahweh shai our king returns we are going to be like him because we are his and it's going to make us have that special body to live everlasting life, you know. Now, this is the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon. I think I'll get it. Get it here. This is Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 2. Well, the elders and the apostles, you know, and other teachers, they've done... They've done the lesson regarding uh, this issue. They've brought out all different kinds of um, of precepts, you know, and very, very edifying videos, you know. So you can go check out the videos done by um, the Elder Apostle um, Gaba. Then you have the video done by Elder Apostle Ara Aramlab. And you have um, the Elder Yashawamba and the rest of the teachers, you know, they've done lessons, you know, regarding this. You know, so me, I'm just bringing out, you know, a few points which, in which might have been brought out in certain videos. So this is the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 23, which quotes, For Yahweh, for the powers, okay, let me just read it verb verbatim, you know. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Man was created to be immortal and he was made to be an image of his own you know, eternity because the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai lives forever, is eternity. You know, in the actual beginning, the most high created, created us to be immortal. And what's the thing that actually made us, you know, have died? It's because of sin. You know, it's because of sin. 
In fact, if you go to the book of um, Genesis, if you go to the book of Genesis, because we were created actually to live forever, not to die. But, you know, sin actually, you know, brought death to us. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 3, which quotes, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh Shem Yahushai had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And what happened? And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For Yahweh Shem Yahushai doth know that in the day ye eat therefore, then your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. So the point to pick, you know, some people might still be thinking this was a, a literal serpent, you know. No, this is talking about the, the um, a group of people that's the wicked devils of those days, you know. They were first known as um, the, 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 the people of the serpent, you know. Then they were later known, the same spirit went into Cain, you know, and that same spirit went into Esau, which are the so-called white men ruling today, you know. But the point to bring out is, you know, it says, if you eat of this, if you eat of it, it says you shouldn't even touch it, which is actually a philosophy, you know. It says, ye shall die, which is sin. So what happened? Man committed this sin because what's a sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. You can get that in the book of First John 3. First John 3. This is the book of First John chapter 3, verse 4, which quotes, Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So as you can see, everything is just coming together, you know? So man committed sin through the woman, Eve, you know? And that's how we, we came into this, you know, these damnable bodies that we are, man. That's how death crept in, you know. We were created actually to be immortal, but death crept in. Like the book of Wisdom of Solomon 2.23 says, For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity, you know. Ah, can. It says in verse 24, it says, Nevertheless, true envy of the devil came death into the world, and they, they that do old of his side do find it, you know? The devil, the serpent, you know, he came and, you know, he tricked the woman into taking this, disobeying the commandment of the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, then death came true. But we're going to be giving back that same state, that initial state of immortality, we're going to be giving back. But this time around, we know the good and the bad, you know? We've tested of everything. We know what's good and we know what's bad. You know, we know both sides. Because this this um, experience we're living here now is for us to learn good and bad, to become better judges. Because we're going to rule over this planet, man. And the rest of the planets, we're going to rule over all the planets. You know, we're going to be joint heads with Yahweh Shai. Now, in order to close this lesson, I just want to make it, you know, a short one. There is nothing much to really speak about this because there are lots of points and they've been brought out by the the elders, the apostles and the, all the rest of the teachers, you know. This is the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23 which quotes, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach our Lord. So what what, what is Sikari saying, man? What are they saying about all these things? They just speak things out. There is no even... They, they don't have anything to back what they're saying out, man. Because it's clear the Bible speaks in everything, you know. The gift of the Most High is eternal life. And the wages of sin is death. Which the sin is, is, um, is, um, is the transgression of the law. So, hey... I hope this short lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash, my double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.